Aries, hello, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is your love reading for the month of March 2020. Yes, I hope you all have been well. I want to give a quick shout out to all of my new and returning subscribers. I welcome you. I am grateful for you that you have, you know, come along and hopped on board. Um, also, shout out to my viewers who do not subscribe, but you guys come and check me out. I appreciate you too. It's all love all the time up over here. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get your love reading popping off. I've already been shuffling. I want to shuffle a few more times on deck. On deck. On camera. <laughs> okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels Universals, what messages do you have for my Aries in love for the month of March? Giving them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, freedom, clarity, and peace of mind into their love situation. Keep in mind the roles can flip. I could be doing this reading for a cross watcher. Please take it how it resonates and do not try to make it fit, okay? This is for Aries. Love reading for the month of March. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Alright, last shuffle. Woo. Okay. Alright, I feel like I should do one more. One more shuffle. One more. Oh my god, I can't shuffle. One more, one more. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's me or the energy. I'm not really sure. There we go. Could be a little bit of both. All right. At the bottom of the deck is the Fool card. Booyah. yeah. Somebody taking a leap of faith, starting a new path. Got some new opportunities in the work spirit. What message do you have for my Aries? What is the current energy you have for Aries? The message. What message do you have for Aries in love for the month of March? What messages do you have for Aries in love for the month of March? Okay, we got a core. The Ten of Wands. Ew. Exhaustion. Burden. Tired. Overworked. Hmm. Page of Wands is here at the bottom. But we have the Fool. Oh, all right, Aries. Let's see why you have this Ten of Wands here. Spirit, why is this Ten of Wands here? For my Aries. Eight of Swords reversed. Okay, Eight of Swords reversed with the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Aries, I'm feeling like. You could be exhausted in your current love situation. You know, maybe you're doing a lot. Um, and with the Eight of Swords here in the reverse, this is like you're wanting to get out of this energy. Like you're wanting to escape it. Like it's, it's like a card of, that represents freedom. It's a card that represents freedom because here it's like you're trapped, you are stuck, right? But in reverse, it's like the opposite, freedom, escaping, whatever mental, whatever, if you're stuck in your mind because swords are your thoughts, you're stuck in a way of thinking. If you're always thinking about something and it's burdening you, this is a card of being unstuck. And with the Knight of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, or this could be something that has been around for a long time, and maybe you're finally coming out of it. But let's see, why is the Knight of Pentacles? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Three of Cups, okay. Ooh, with the Five of Cups. So I feel like you could have reunited with someone. And it didn't go well. Uh, 
like you're feeling like regret for you know maybe getting back with that person why is a five of cups here oh okay that's a lot i'm not taking all those but the ten of wands did pop back out just saying why is a five of cups here Ooh, seven of swords I'm, I'm i'm getting you let somebody back in and maybe there was some sneaky behavior some cheating why the seven of swords oh man whoa i didn't oh man ten of swords with the moon i feel like some somebody was hiding something like there was something foul and scandalous with the seven of swords um i think it hurt pretty bad it hurt pretty bad maybe there was somebody hiding something there was a secret i think you got together with somebody and you're like why did i do that because there was oh my god there's some craziness going on what is the energy behind the ten of wands what is the energy behind the Ten of Wands? The Star. Wishing, hoping, praying. Okay. So you have the Stars with the Five of Wands. Uh-oh. Stars with the Five of Wands. I mean, maybe you are... I don't know why that star... Why the star came out. But there's arguments or a conflict here. Why the five of wands with that star? King of swords. Um, I'm sorry, air energy. The lovers wanted to pop out, but it didn't. Oh, it wants to pop out. The lovers. So, you know, maybe you're wanting to with this five of wands. Because the five of wands is like um it's like an argument you know what i mean or a disagreement i don't know i kind of i feel like you want to uh i don't know if you want to fight or you're hoping to i don't know i don't know let's see why did the king of swords come out because you want to cut off a relationship the Three of Swords reversed is someone overcoming grief. It's, it's almost like what I'm getting, Aries, it's kind of like you want to argue. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but I, I can't I get it, right? It's like you want to pretty much have like a conversation, but it's more so to express your anger. So it's coming off as an argument, right? It's not just, oh, let's have a talk. I think you want to really express your anger. You have the King of Swords here too, which is which means you're really pissed off. That's what I'm getting. That it may sound crazy, but it's not it's not crazy like someone who wants to argue. No, I think it's here because you want to express how angry, how upset you are. Um, because maybe you feel like, you know, I need to get this off of my chest with this three of swords in reverse because um, that's like you, you need to overcome your anger, your pain. I get it. I get it. I get it. Because right now you, you, you're burdened and you're stuck and you're like, I need to get this off of my chest. Yeah. Like you're because you're thinking about it, kind of stuck in what happened. What else can you tell us about this spirit? Oh, it's just, yeah, the Ten of Wands back out. I think you're just really burdened. Like, you're tired, okay? Yeah, there was some cheating, and it hurts. Some secrets. Just something you didn't see. Maybe you see it now or not. I don't know, but there was something you, you didn't see. Um, hmm. Let's see how your person is feeling about this. The person you're dealing with, how are they? How are they dealing with all this? Wow. All right. Spirit, how does Aries' uh, romantic partner feel about their current 
love situation. How do they feel about it? Okay, got one. The temperance is here. So they could be trying to um, level things out. Maybe things have, they were out of control. And now they're trying to find balance, level things out, you know, have more patience. Maybe just kind of, yeah, like balance. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. Earth energy. You had an Earth sign here. You had a Queen, a queen uh, no, Knight of Pentacles. So, how your person feels right now is the Temperance. Why, why do they have the Temperance card? Okay. Um, this is three card. Yeah. Okay. So they're worried. They're stressing. The magician with the three of wands. I what I'm I'm kind of getting is that they are with that magician there. <laughs> they're trying to uh tame. What's the phrase? It's right as right on the tip of my tongue. It's, you know, it's like when something goes wrong and you have to react to it real quick so that it doesn't get too out of hand. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, I can't figure it out. Anyway, the three of wands here. Why is the three of wands here? It's going to come to me. It's not safe face. It's, it's something like that. I feel like the six of cups wants to come out reversed, which would indicate that Someone's trying to release the past. Yeah. Oh my God, it's bugging me that I can't think of that phrase. But anyway, with the magician here, like they're trying to create, um, they're trying to get real creative, you know, use their inner creativity to smooth this out. The Three of Wands, they're waiting on something. I don't know what they're waiting on. Or they're, or maybe they're just waiting to, you know, get this rolling. What, what is the energy behind the Temperance? Oh, okay. Okay, Eight of Swords, there's that stuck energy. Feeling powerless, your person. I mean, that would make sense. They, If they've caused all of this, Cross Watcher, Aries. If your person, you know, caused all of this madness going on, all this drama, they could feel like powerless to fix it. Because the Temperance card is here. I feel like they are trying to smooth things out. What is the energy of the Three of Wands? What is the energy of the Three of Wands? <laughs> You both are burdened. You both are exhausted. That's a lot of work. That's, that was a lot. I mean, we had the moon, we had the ten of swords, you know, the, the nine of swords. I mean, well, the ten of swords came out again. It's showing up here. It's, it's some heavy um, energy going on between the two of you. Why is the Six of Cups reversed? Woo. The Queen of Swords. Air sign. Page of Swords. Nine of Cups. Okay, so maybe they are trying to... I, I get like they're trying to right their wrong. I don't even have the Justice card, but I'm getting... They're trying to make something right. They're trying to release the past. Move on from the past. Like, be more mature. Um, I think they're ready to go with that three of wands. Like, they're ready to fix this. It's almost like if you guys are having problems, they're ready to fix this. Queen of Swords. They could be, yeah, ready to cut something, cu cut some things out, be honest for a change. Maybe they have some kind of spiritual awakening with that temperance card. Nine of Cups. But they are concerned that they can't come back from this. Like they won't be able to fix it. Why the Eight of Swords? 
Oh yeah, seven of wands. Oh, they're for sure. <sighs> they're, they feel powerless, but they're willing to fight. They're willing to fight for you, Aries. I don't know how you feel about that, but it's here if that's, if that helps you at all. Why the nine of cups? Like, I think they all, they want this relationship. Like, it brings them some satisfaction. Why is the Nine of Cups here? And they may tell you that with the Page of Swords. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Whoa. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. They could. Yeah, okay. So, Four of Cups, like, missed opportunity, feeling regret. Knight of Cups in the reverse. <sighs> they they are like they're procrastinating why the knight of cups in reverse why is the knight of cups in reverse okay okay yeah okay so maybe they're they're procrastinating coming toward you to tell you how they feel um because they don't they don't expect you to respond in a positive way you have the Nine of Wands with the Four of Swords. Like you've pulled away from them, like you've withdrawn from them. Well, yeah, when you hurt me like crazy, I might not just be all in. Like, you know, I might not be that way, but this is how your person feels about the situation. They... They want to smooth things out. Give me the energy of the magician. I just want to see what comes out. Ooh, yes, the hierophant. Okay, uh, Aries. Yeah, it's official. Your your person wants to right their wrong. Oh, damage control. That's what <laughs> I knew it was gonna come to me. This feels like damage control. It really does. Look, with that magician there and now the Hierophant clarifying the magician. That feels like damage because the damage control because the magician gets real creative. He can get real creative. Right? With that temperance, wanting to smooth things out and do things. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh snap, I got caught up. Oh snap, my Aries is feeling some kind of way. Or a cross watcher or whatever. Man. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. How do you want to resolve this? And then we'll get your potential outcome. How does Aries want to resolve this? All right. How does Aries want to resolve this spirit? Aries want to resolve this okay okay so the eight of cups in reverse with the six of pentacles um see eight of cups reversed and the six of pentacles okay so the way you want to resolve this I a part of me feels like you don't know It's like you don't know, like you don't really, you're not really sure what you want. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, yeah. Nine of Swords is at the bottom, so you know, the, you have concerns, right? You have concerns, I think, about starting something new. I, I think you would need to see something, because I'm looking here at the bottom of the deck. And it's like, I have the Seven of Pentacles with the sun. It's like waiting for something, like a sign. Something to shine the light. You know, it, it's equivalent to needing that green light. But let's see, but let's see what the clarifiers come out with. Why is the Eight of Cups here, Spirit? Why is it in reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse here? Oh, I'm not going to take all of these, but yeah, that's a lot. Spirit, can I get fewer cards? Why is the Eight of Cups in the reverse? 
Why is the Eight of Cups in the reverse? Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know, you don't know. Look, King of Swords, Three of Swords. I think you're still upset, and you're still heartbroken. Why, why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Maybe a part of you wants to forgive, but then it's like, man, that was a lot. And that's just, I see in the cards, it was just a lot of burdens and heart, yeah, heartbreak and, oh my God, the Ten of Swords. Okay, you have the Devil here with the Queen of Swords giving to someone. Um, I mean, you could just feel like this situation is toxic. What is the energy of the devil card? Let's see, because that devil card can literally mean so many things. Let me let me ask that again, sorry. What is the energy of the devil card, Spirit? Can I get not so many cards? What is the energy of this devil card? Okay. Okay, the king of cups in the reverse, which is someone who is overly emotional. Yeah, I, I just think you're still... You're, you're still heartbroken. You're still dealing with this. I just, I get that you're mad. I got that from the first spread. I was like, you want to have an, an argument with this person, like a conversation, but like, I want to express how pissed off I am. And the way that I would have to understand it as a reader, because spirit is amazing, is to give me the five of wands, okay? Because that's a card that means to argue or to have a disagreement, but it's like, like a, a very, like a, like a passionate one, okay? Why is the Queen of Swords, why does she come out? You, okay. So this is you, Aries. You're coming off as this Queen of Swords because I, I feel like you've gone cold and I believe that came out in your your person's spread as well. This, you, you, you're just not trying to really work on this right now. You're not trying to put in the effort right now because you're you probably just need to heal right now I mean I wouldn't make any decisions on this you you take your time you know that person wants to be there when you've healed and they've helped you heal or offered something um then so be it but don't push yourself to try to make this work because like I said I could see that you went through a lot mm. okay let's get the potential outcome like, what's going to end up happening here? Yeah, you take your time, boo. Don't, yeah, you, you have a lot of, mm-mm. I don't know, what did this person do? What did they do? They, I mean, I, think, I feel like there was some cheating, some lying, some, some type of, of a betrayal. That's what I'm getting. That Seven of Swords that came out earlier. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Aries. I'm sorry. All right, what is the potential outcome between Aries and their romantic partner? See, the five of swords. Oh, no. Just feeling, just feeling defeated. Like, there's not much you could really do. You could be dealing with, well, this could be you, Aries. You could be dealing with Earth. So I keep getting Earth, um, other, like, this is you at the bottom. Um, the Five of Swords, uh, just a feeling of defeat, like you can't, like there's no win here. Why the Five of Swords for the potential outcome? Why the Five of Swords for the potential outcome? Oh, my Aries, why is the Five of Swords here? Again. This, I mean, I think this energy is yours. It feels like yours. Um, again, just, you're, you're emotional. And this card is someone who's overly emotional or too emotional. And I don't even want to say that. Because um, if somebody hurt me, I might be all up in my feelings. I mean, you're definitely in your feelings for sure. Why is the King of Cups reversed? Feeling defeated. Six of Swords in the reverse. Um, but you are... Because uh, you, know you know what happens? 
Okay. So the situation you're like, it may not end. If you decide to go back to your person, I don't know. It may not really change because this is the potential outcome. Like what could happen? What may very much so happen um, in the near future? It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it because even with the six of swords in reverse, it's like you still go from one difficulty, one obstacle, you know, like it's um, the way I describe this card is um, jumping from the devil to the witch or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, oh man, why is the six of swords reverse? That's what that card represents to me. Seven of cups. Maybe you just, you don't know what the heck is going on. You're like, why is this happening? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Oh. Oh, no. Okay. You could be confused about a new beginning. The Ace of Cups just flew way over there. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta go under the table. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this was reversed or not, so I'm not gonna take it. But it could be a new love or it could be... um. You're confused about receiving some news. That's very upsetting. Okay. You know what I'm saying, Aries? Oh, take it how it resonates. It's one of those. Why is the Seven of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Aries. Ten of Wands reverse. Because you keep trying, you keep working at this and nothing's changing. Oh, it's just one of those relationships. This person is just never going to change. This person is not changing anytime soon, even though they want to, with the magician. Now it makes sense. The magician, it's like they have to get real creative on trying to fix this. Maybe they got caught up. They could be telling you lies, telling you things. Because the magician, you know, he could be a trickster. He represents trickery, you know. Ah, uh, like that's the negative side of the magician. And I kept getting damage control, like, oh my god, I have to fix this. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed? But you keep trying to do this and it's just not working. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? That's what I get, like, you just can't win with this person. Page of Wands, see, that's what I'm saying, Page of Wands, Page of Wands in the reverse. Oh, man, what is this? Ace of Swords. I just feel like you keep getting set back. I mean, that's the energy here. No win, you know. Even with this, it's like you keep trying, but you're not getting anywhere. Like, there's a, like, you keep getting set back. Why is the Ace of Swords here? That's like clarity, mental clarity. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Maybe you'll get some mental clarity. Oh yeah, the Tower Reverse. You may get some mental clarity. You know what? You, you're going to realize. Yes. Oh, good. Yes. You're going to realize that, that is, this relationship is not working. It's like, listen, I've been trying. I've been putting in the effort. I don't want to try anymore because it's not working. Because you're working with someone who doesn't want it to work the same. You know, it's like, here's here are two people in a relationship. If it's not working, it's because one of y'all don't want it to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to like do your own thing and you're not trying to compromise. You're not trying to meet the other person halfway. Um, and so it makes for a very difficult situation and it doesn't work. You have to be like-minded. You have to want the same thing. You have to want to walk in the same direction, period. The end, like, there's no relationship that can work when two people want to go in two different directions. Just saying. Let's get your advice, Aries. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Like, oh, my God, this person. But I hope this really brings you clarity. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you, you have a... You realize some things. Like, this is not working. All right. You will realize it if you haven't. Okay, because that was the outcome. Okay, 
What what advice do you have for Aries spirit? The moon. Okay. I think this is telling you to be careful with your emotions, your feelings. Um you know, cuz I feel like there's still deception here in your energy field. There's uh even delusion, you know, trickery. I mean, we saw that your person like they they're not changing. And I think this this moon is telling you to be careful for sure. You have the Ace of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, I, I just think a new starting back with this person is going to put you in this Five of Pentacles. You're good, just going to be feeling left out again, rejected, alone. You could be with this person sitting next to them, but just feeling lonely. All right, why is the moon here? Let's just see. Get a few cards here. Maybe someone is curious about a third party. Maybe you are curious, wanting to know the truth about a third party. Maybe um, with the wheel here. Why is the wheel here? Okay, three of wands, two of wands. Um, making a decision. You, I, I think it's just you feeling like you deserve something better. Facing the truth. Because what you're going through right here with this moon is not it. It's not it, Aries. Maybe you're curious about going out dating. Like, what else is out there? Um, Better is out there with this wheel here for sure. I mean, even the Three of Cups is... I think you would have more fun. I think you would release some of your burdens if you just left this person alone. But you, you make your own decisions. We have free will. But Spirit is telling you, be careful. Keep your ears, your eyes, your nose, everything open. All your senses open because you have a, a trickster on your hands, okay? All right, guys, that's all I have. I hope this helps you, give you some clarity, all right? Give you some peace of mind because we don't have time for all this, all right, my loves? And um, I'm sorry I don't have a better reading for you. Hopefully next time, okay? Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And give this video a thumbs up. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.